people, fans, sports fans, will always remember this summer and this home run race through the filter of, oh, they were using PEDs the whole time. I think that sort of the, the legacy of this summer and this home run race is, oh, yeah, but there's an asterisk on that because they were all on PEDs. Everyone was on PEDs in baseball at that time. Do you think that that, that is a, a fair assessment or fair to the legacy of this home run race? I, not quite. I, you know, I think, look, we have to understand that different eras of baseball have had um, different things that have made them less than perfect. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, if you want to talk about a notation or an asterisk to a variety of achievements and records, um, you can go back to the fact uh, that it was an all white league. They didn't travel uh, as far as they would later on. Um, they didn't have as many games. Uh, they were taking greenies and amphetamines in the dugout. I mean, you can go through a lot of, of stuff. One of the things we tried to, to do in the film uh, was to just make sure that people don't put what they know about people's reaction to steroids now into that frame of the 90s. Um, there was no official rule. Um, there was no penalty. There was no testing. People were taking supplements openly, things that, some things which were not uh, legal in other sports, some things which were, uh, which are you know, just questionable because no one knew what their, their efficacy was. Um, that was where we were. We were in, a, in an interesting time when a, a sort of gym culture took over um, you know, uh, baseball. I mean, I, I grew up with the eighties Cardinals. You look at those teams now, you, they're so skinny. You can't believe that they can run around the base. <laughs> um, so, you know, I think it, it was a time period. And, and, um, I think to put today's understanding of what was going on and just say like, well, everybody knew that it was bad and everyone knew that it was wrong and it was prohibited. Um, it wasn't. I mean, people didn't know. They didn't know that there was this memo. There was a memo. Like, that was the official thing is that someone wrote a memo. Um, and that was it. Um, so I, I think, you know, people have to understand it. Look, you know, I, I think that in sports, hot takes are a First Amendment right, you know? And certainly mm -hmm. people can still say, like, you know, I, I don't like that team or I don't like that guy or he's not my guy. Um, and so, therefore, like, he's a cheater and whatever. But, um, I think I think uh, I think people need to look at, at what was really happening at the time, um, and and do understand that this was also like this was an expansion year. Um, stadiums were starting to get reconfigured to be like more favorable to hitters. Um, there's some uh, evidence that maybe the ball was wound a little bit tighter than like it is I think now. Um, so that you know, there's a lot of reasons why uh, the home runs might have been jumping up a bit in the 90s. And I, I think to, to attribute it all to steroids is, if you really look at it scientifically, um, probably not, not the case. Do you feel like at this point, after digesting what took place, that these gentlemen are happy at this point of their lives? Or are there more accolades and achievements do they feel like they deserve to have it taken place? I think uh, Sammy is happy in the business uh, that he's built for himself. He's happy in his family. Um, he, uh, he and his wife uh, started another round of, of kids <laughs> um, somewhat recently. <laughs> um, and he has a grandchild. Um, you know, I, obviously he wants to go back to Chicago. I mean, he wants to be recognized for his achievements. He wants to be respected. Um, I think he feels that the ongoing questions are, are a lack of respect. And he feels he's answered them and uh, that it's time for, for him to, to get to go to Chicago, which he loves and which he feels, you know, uh, made him who he is as a man and as a player. Uh, you know, Mark was able to go back to baseball. He had uh, an almost 10 year career as a coach. Um, by all uh, accounts, talking to players who played for him as, uh, as a coach, um, that he was an excellent coach. Um, he was a guy who was not showy. It was very difficult for us to even find photos of him uh, as a coach. Um, he just wanted to be around the game. And he left the game. Uh, he retired from the Padres as their bench coach 
to go and be with his kids. Uh, his sons are in high school and are playing baseball. So um, I think he makes his decisions as he wants to make them. And he's, he's at peace um, and at peace with that. And, but I know it meant a great deal to him both to be welcomed back to the Cardinals, to be in their hall of fame and also to the A's uh, to be in, in their hall of fame and to be appreciated by both of those clubs and their fan bases. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.